We're looking at what's going on with radio legend Casey Kasem missing, but let's start with Sherry, her husband Lamar, and who will wind up with custody of their baby on the way. Here are the court paper facts. Sherry's husband, Lamar Sally, filed for legal separation in California, while Sherry just filed for divorce in New Jersey. He wants physical custody of their unborn child, who interestingly is already named Lamar Sally Jr. The baby's due July 28th and is being carried by a surrogate. Sherry has another son, Jeffrey, from a previous marriage, but a sibling is something she's been wanting for a very long time. Are you gonna have more babies? Girl, yes, I am looking for a uterus, so if yours is available, I will give you a free <laughs> week for a year and a Honda. What do you mean you're looking for a uterus? I'm looking, yeah, because we're trying to do the surrogate route, so I'm just like, you know, my age, because I'm just out of high school. It's, you know, a little bit harder for me. I don't even know if my eggs are viable. They've been in the refrigerator so long. <laughs> We spoke with Lamar's attorney. Yes, his actual attorney, Mark Vincent Kaplan. He also represented Kevin Federline against Brittany. What Lamar is hoping to achieve is there be no dispute as to into whose custody upon birth that child will be delivered. Lamar has set up his home here to be a custodial home for a child of that age. He wants to take custody. He's hopeful that he'll be able to work out a meaningful custodial agreement with his wife, and hopefully that would resolve without any kind of argument or drama. But with a mom, a dad, and a surrogate involved, who has the rights here? Whether a child is conceived of the parents, whether a child is adopted or not, the child's rights and the parents' custodial rights are the same. Now moving on to another family crisis, the alleged disappearance of Casey Kasem from a convalescent hospital. The last time we spoke to the radio legend was in 2001 at the Museum of TV and Radio. Well, I'm a member of uh, the museum and I support everything it does because it's an important part of our lives. How do you lose track of an 82-year-old man with dementia? And this is what we've put kind of pieced together, that he was taken late at night without a, without a transfer order, without any kind of doctor's notice, um, and against uh, any doctor's orders. Yesterday, daughter Carrie was appointed temporary caretaker of her dad who suffers from a form of dementia. Carrie accuses Casey's wife, Jean Kasem, of hiding the ailing 82-year-old. Do you know where your father is? My dad's missing, and I'm making a plea for everyone and anybody. And if you've heard anything, anything at all, call the police. We need to find my dad. 